So hello everyone, welcome to your next CSS tutorial. If in the past tutorial this carrot did not work, if this drop down did not work for you, I want to quickly show you something. If you're using Google Chrome browser or any browser, um, I want you to right click and click on something called inspect element. And when you click on the inspect element, you will notice something. Um, there will be this pull, something that will pull down from the bottom or to the to the left right of your screen depending on which um, the settings of your screen all right so in that in that um, drop down you will see some menus and you will see the menu of console and when you click on it you see that your browser is giving you an error the bootstrap requires jquery something that was not um, clearly indicated there but then you have to install jQuery which means the, the, the files we installed here are incomplete we have to go and download a little tiny file called jQuery and add it to it's another um, um, JavaScript script so we will go to jQuery just visit jQuery.com click on download jQuery.com then or just slash download and um, get a copy of jQuery as you can see just the way we installed bootstrap we can choose to download a copy look at how to download i'll just right click open a new tab then um as you can see there's a whole lot of jargon this is the jargon we need so i'll right click and say a copy of select or well unfortunately it's not showing so i'll use the control on my keyboard and I select everything the control i'm going to use is control a control a that's it another way to download this is to to right click and see save link as okay if we are going to save link as then we will simply navigate to our, our desktop and uh, find our folder and uh, find our javascript folder is a javascript file as you can see then um rename it i want to rename it to something simple i can just say jQuery jQuery.mean so then I'll save I'll hit on the save um, button then after saving it I'll just hit on save it has saved inside our JavaScript for file so we can come here and reference it so um, make sure it is referenced before your bootstrap.mean.js before so I'll duplicate this line and say hey make sure you reference jquery dot mean so that jquery is now referenced so the next thing we will do is to minimize and go back to a page and check remember here it is telling us that hey there's an error bootstrap javascript requires jquery so we refresh and um, that error is gone and when we click it drops down so if yours didn't work before, this is the reason uh, why it didn't work. And um, I would like to see you in the next tutorial and uh, so that we can continue having fun. There is nothing else to add to Bootstrap. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.